Seek wisdom. Are you seeking God for wisdom? Do you want wisdom? After Solomon became king of Israel, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And he asked Solomon, what shall I give you? And King Solomon basically asked for wisdom. God was pleased with Solomon's request for wisdom. I noted Solomon only asked for wisdom. Therefore, God gave Solomon a wise and understanding heart. Also, God gave Solomon what he did not ask for, both riches and honor. Today, I say unto you, seek wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge effectively. Wisdom is of God and wisdom is from God. James 1 and 5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not and it shall be given him. Ask God for wisdom in every area of your life that you need wisdom. Ask God in faith and be sure of your request for wisdom. God is generous and he will give you the wisdom you need. The word phrase upbraided not in that scripture from James 1 and 5 means God would not find fault in you to not give you the wisdom you need. We live in a time that trials, tribulations, and trouble will present itself. Therefore, the wisdom of God is our defense to prevent us from falling into temptations of these situations we live in. Wisdom is also our defense from the adversary. In 1 Samuel chapter 19, verses 12 through 15, it says, And Saul was afraid of David, because the Lord was with him and was departed from Saul. Therefore Saul removed him from him and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. In this scripture, we see that it was not David's popularity or presence that Saul was afraid of. It was when Saul saw David behaving himself very wisely, for the Lord was with David. Saul became afraid of David. When you act upon the wisdom of God, the adversary would not like it. The adversary would distance himself away from you when you walk in God's wisdom. There are many benefits of wisdom. Wisdom will make you happy. Wisdom will give you long life and wisdom will give you peace. James chapter three, verse 17 says, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Seek God for wisdom, the wisdom that is from above, in your daily prayers, you should be asking God for wisdom and the strength to act upon that knowledge effectively. No longer shall you be burdened by saying, I don't know what to do or how to do. I don't know where to go. God is seeking worshipers who will worship him in spirit and truth. I am encouraging you today to seek wisdom.